hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome thank you so much for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber thank you for returning always my name is Zulushala Love I'm in Nigeria and currently in Cold Lake Alberta and I film about kingdom lifestyle and I give immigration tips on this channel today we're going to be talking about five signs that you're not ready for that miracle so yes everyone is praying for a miracle trusting God for one thing or the other you're in your waiting season for something but I'm just here to share with us that there are a few things that might we might need to reconsider or that God wants to share with us might be the reason why we are not or we haven't gotten that miracle. So let us get right into today's video. Number one sign that you're not ready for that miracle is that you're anxious. Yes, yes, Sister Mary, <laughs> Sister Dupe, you are too anxious the bible says in philippians 4 6 that we should be anxious for nothing so what anxiety does is it makes us start looking elsewhere for solution you start running from one platform one prayer platform to the other you start you might even go outside the faith just because you're looking for a miracle so you want to calm down you want to zukwanike <laughs> you want to calm down you know being anxious doesn't help anything it never you know solves anything it never instead instead it makes things worse like it makes situations worse so you want to make sure that you are at the place of peace a place of rest for that miracle you don't want to be agitated and wondering and looking at others time god why haven't you done it god when god how god who god who, who, you know so many things you want to calm down number two sign that you're not ready for that miracle is that you do not have the capacity or you've not developed the needed capacity or you're too immature for that miracle so god is a god of you know he's our father he cares for us he would not want to shame us he would not want to just just hand over certain things of depth of that weighty matters basically into our hands if we're still immature if we're still baby christians we're still drinking milk we're still going to pastors for them to pray for us we're still you know looking up to others we're not building our own selves training ourselves you know disciplining ourselves in the presence of god building capacity for that desired miracle learning what needs to be learned you know the skills everything that we need to learn imagine for instance someone that god is trusting to birth the next elijah of our generation or of their generation or something and you're still there doing christian body you know you're still in and out you're doing choma jesus today you're doing Nicki minaj tomorrow or something i'm just citing an example but you could apply in different aspects oh okay. god is saying that you're going to marry one great apostle and you're still there you you know you cannot one book like this you've not read <laughs> or maybe you are even trusting god that god give me a kingdom man a christian man a man that loves you a woman that loves to pray a woman that this what you are praying for is also praying for you uh, pray you have been praying for that stuff i don't even know how to put it you want a woman that loves to pray a woman that loves to pray wants a woman that a man that loves to pray so if you're you're praying for that you should also be developing building yourself up for that so that when your spec sees you you know your spec is your specs you are your spec spec <laughs> right <laughs> so god wants us to mature to be like to be where we ought to be before he gives us that miracle to have what we ought to have if not giving us would just be like giving a three-year-old child a car key and you know what that would have what would happen with that or what that would do to the child so we need to first mature in for that desired miracle so just ask god god what am i doing that i that i shouldn't be doing what should i be doing you know for this miracle to come he would he's our father he will tell you this thing you're doing you need to grow up basically you need to learn this you need to do this and then when you do it he trusts you that okay this is my child you don't they get sense you don't they mature and then he can trust us okay number three sign that you're not ready for that miracle is that you do not have god as priority hmm, my sister let us help ourselves let's let's tell us let's tell ourselves the truth nothing but the truth right when matthew 6 3 says seek ye first first oh first not not that's the essence some of us are seeking god but not first it has god has to be the priority you're not seeking god you know you're seeking god because of that miracle you're seeking god just because you want to get something look at other times that maybe god has done one miracle for you and then the next thing you're running out 
if that is the case <laughs> this next miracle you know you might just have a struggle with getting it but god wants us to seek him for him seek him first so if you're not prioritizing god our prioritizing god is for our own good not for god's it is for our own good and god is a god of covenant if he says do your part god is the only constant in this equation if he says do this and i will do this Whatever instruction he is giving to you, whatever he wants you to do that would make him priority in your life, he expects you to do it. If you're not doing it, you cannot get <laughs> you cannot get that miracle because, like I said, God will not want to entrust or hand over certain things to us, knowing that you know we would lavish it. Imagine someone trusting God for money. Your know, God gave you ten thousand just for 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 what's it called? Um, like a test because God will test our faith, right? So you're saying God I really love you I will serve you with my money with my resources blah 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 and then God gives you 10,000 naira that, Okay, let me test this my child and then next thing you are lavishing tight save you not pay Let's even leave that conversation of uh, the, the people that are saying you don't you shouldn't pay tight You should pay tight. Well, that, that, that one is a topic for another day But I'm just saying you nothing in that 10,000 went to the work of God went to you know humanity did nothing you just lavished it and then you're trusting God for one million. Please, how? How? If you man to man, man to human being to human being, would you give that person any other money? So, I mean, if God is not priority in that, look at Anna's story in the Bible, right? Um, she was trusting God for a child. And until she made that that covenant, really, that promise that God, if you give me this child, I will give him back to you. Now some people will say are you saying that god is god is a god is a good god you will not go to see that one i'm not there go ask god but i'm just saying that sometimes there would because god honors his word and honors is a god of covenant the fact that she put that as priority that god this one is for you you know god was committed when we commit god especially in the first place we give him the first place he will be committed to everything it's just it's just how he is it's just what his word says it's just give me my own place first and then every other thing i will be giving it to you so it's very important that in that miracle in that thing you're trusting god for have you thought about it that if it happens is god going to take the glory is god going to be at the center or you'll be hiding jesus or to even give testimony you'll be saying so i i i i you know so i now i now got these skills i now i now everything is, I, I, I don't even know what i'm breakdancing but basically give god his place and you would see that that miracle would come faster than you even expected number four sign that you're not ready for that miracle is that you're not happy for others or you're envious of other people's blessings see this one <laughs> <laughs> we might just all be guilty of this but let me just emphasize this see if you're the type that you see other people's blessings or miracles as you know it's bugging you you're looking at them and you're like is it only them i beg it's for the ground i beg it every day every day them every day on testimony i beg you maybe they're even adding something else things don't used to happen like that for people these people should, should start lying to us they should tell us what is really there what is in this thing see you might just need to go for retreat asap <laughs> because you have to be happy for others you have to you know embrace the fact that god is in your neighborhood if not anything hold that that god that did it for these people he's no respecter of persons if they did something they shared their testimony with you and they did something in line with scriptures do same and you would see it happen to you as well do not be at the back and be doing him and be following the world standards and be saying i beg i beg you they should get out there and their blessing is only them them you cannot follow world standard in this kingdom let us just be guided i remember one time that <laughs> god did something for someone and you know i just saw it and i was like ah god and my mind was like god ah now wow you know <laughs> there was just this thing that just came to my mind and then i was almost feeling like ah, what was going on you know for my own self and the only spirit just cautioned me hey <laughs> thank god for the holy spirit that do not compare i tweeted that thing that do not compare your Ha, uh, your planting season to someone else's harvest you know so it i mean at that point like, god i repent i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm happy for them oh god thank you thank you for doing it for them you know we just have to work on our hearts because the devil is fighting like a real like battle for us to just be envious 
and I mean that's how it starts. You become you become jealous, you become envious, you become covetous, you become angry unnecessarily, you just hate somebody just because God is blessing them and your own hasn't happened. So that really gave me a shut up, like do not compare. Then in the harvest season, yours is coming, keep planting, keep sowing the seed, you know, do not give up and keep doing what God says to do. And in no time, your own miracle, your own blessing, your own testimony would come. Number five sign that you're not ready for that miracle is that you doubt God. Mm -hmm. Yep, I said it. <laughs> you're unstable. You're neither here nor there. You know, you, you, you believe, but you don't believe. You are doubting. You're not sure. You know he can. He has done it before, but you are not sure this time because, you know, so many things. See, the Bible says a double-minded man cannot get anything from God because he is unstable. So if you find yourself, if you find it hard to believe that God can do it, that God can do this miracle, no matter how big it is or it may seem, then you might just be prolonging the miracle itself because you don't believe. You are not sure. Can God do it? Can he not? You know, but I've trusted him before, but I've prayed before. He still hasn't done it. You keep doubting and keep going back to check, you know, God, have you done it? Will you do it? You know, stop. My sisters, let's just talk to ourselves. <laughs> just stop. Stop doubting God. Stop thinking that <laughs> he will not do it. And this video, see, the one thing that I really love, let me not say the opposite about Kingdom Lifestyle, is that it's, it's me. As I'm even talking it out, as it's coming out of my mouth, it's like, take it, take your stuff, take your stuff. <laughs> so, basically, if we're unstable and we're, we keep doubting, we keep thinking, will he do it, will he not, and all of that, we might just be prolonging matters. So, the earlier we get on with the program of you know, letting it sink that God can. And then, like I, always like I always say, I feel like I got to a point where I started, you know, just laying it all that God, even if you don't do it, you are still my God. And I don't know, there's just this peace that comes with that because sometimes you get so overwhelmed, like God hasn't done it, he hasn't done it, he hasn't, that, that's where agitation starts from and all of that starts creeping in. But if you just leave it that, whether or not you do it, Father, you are still my God. You know, and just keep serving him for him. Keep praising him for him. Keep doing everything you do just because he is God, not because of what he has to do. I feel like that's the best state of rest, safe, that God, you do am, you know, do am, you are my God. So I can as well be unbothered, okay? So if we get to that part, I feel like it will really help us a lot. So those are the five points I have, you know, they're not, there's definitely more, but for the sake of this video, and I pray that God helps us, you know, um, to adjust, make adjustments where necessary, and yeah, keep following him and keep doing his will. So till next time when I see you guys in my next video, thank you so much for watching. If it blesses you, please share with someone, family, friends, your status, your IG story, your everybody, your anybody. <laughs> All right, guys, see you guys in my next one. Bye. Whew, thank you, Jesus.